This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. You have connected with the New Ebenezer Baptist Church via Facebook, YouTube, conference call, or live in person here in the sanctuary. Our church is physically located at 6300 Hartford, at the corner of Milford in the city of Detroit, Michigan, where our pastor is the none other than the Dr. Wallace R. Mills, Jr. And our first lady is Sister Deborah Mills. Today we are celebrating our annual Women's Day. And no matter where you are, we would like for you to share your combination of pink and white with us. Feel free to send a picture or post it on Facebook. So as we come in this morning, let us remember that we are here for one purpose. We are here to praise the Lord. We are here to worship the Lord. And we are here to say hallelujah. So join us as we celebrate our annual Women's Day. Be blessed. You're in hands of the music ministry. celebrating Women's Day today. It is such, such a blessing for us to be here. At this time, we're going to have ministry in music by Sister Patricia Taylor. Thank you. Those are 
storms keep on raging in my life and it's hard sometimes to tell the night from day still that hope that lies within is reassured as I lived my eyes upon the distant shore I know he'll lead me safely to that special place he has prepared but he the storm don't cease and if the wind keeps on blowing my soul has been anchored in the Lord The storms keep on raging in my life, and sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day. Still, that hope that lies within is reassured. As I lived my eyes upon that distant shore, I know you lead me safely to that blessed place he has prepared. But if the
If you don't have your soul anchored in the Lord, today is a good day to get to know him. Right now, we're going to have scripture and prayer. Our scripture is by Sister Terry Edgecombe and prayer by Sister Angela Joseph, followed by our prayer list, which will be read by Sister Jasmine Bridgeforth in that order. Thank you. morning. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our, our Lord. I read Romans 9, verses 35 through 39. Now we bless the Lord for his holy word. Good morning, church, family, friends. Giving honor to God, who's the head of all of our lives. Father God, we come to you, Lord, at your throne, Lord, just asking you for grace and mercy, Lord. Father God, we asking you right now this morning, Lord, that you just touch each individually, Lord. For Father God, you know what it is that we stand in need of, Lord Jesus. We ask, asking you that you grant it according to thy will, Lord. Father God, for so many of us, Lord, is just going through this morning, Lord. We're not asking you, Lord, right now that you just put us over that mountain, Lord. We're asking you that you just show us and teach us how to get over, Lord Jesus. And then, Father God, we're asking that you just touch this Women's Day, Lord, program, Lord Jesus. We're asking right now, Lord, that you just touch the speaker, Lord Jesus. Father God, we asking that you just touch the pastor over this, that you planted over this church, Lord. Touch him and his family, Lord, that he, that he just guide us, Lord, in a merciful way, Lord Jesus. And then, Father God, we asking you that you just give us traveling grace and traveling mercy on this day, Lord Jesus. Father God, we ask him right now that you just touch, Lord, touch. It's only you can, Lord Jesus. In your name, Father, we ask right now, Lord Jesus. Amen. Today we are praying for Deacon Thomas Anderson, Sister Naomi Burrow, Brother Christopher Burrow, Brother Benjamin Moon, Sister Earlene Shorter, Sister Yvonne Price, Sister Eva Morgan, Sister Kenyatta Kegler, Brother Dennis Lay, Reverend Leonard Jones, Brother Jim Rhodes, Brother Horace Kegler, Sister Regina Clemens, Brother Rufus Brown, Sister Priscilla Valentine, Sister Judy Jenkins, Sister Pearl Cotton, Brother O.C. Gators, Sister, I'm sorry, Brother Andrew Shannon, Sister Shante Mulkey, Sister Henrietta Stevens, 
Brother Curly Shorter Jr., Corliss and Herbert Fitzpatrick, Sister Reva Cook, Brother Norman Bell, Sister Nina Amber, Brother Raymond Harris, Arlie and Irma Cooper, Michelle and Erica London, Yolanda and Keith Bell, Margaret from DTE, Brother Jay Madison, Sister Annette Shannon, Tony Shannon and children Madison and Kaysen and the passing of Sister Stephanie Shannon, Sister April Gregory and the passing of her son Donald Gregory, Sister Teresa Fells and the passing of her sister Latricia Betts, Bates. Also, please pray for Latricia's children, Renee and Curtis, Sister Jackie Hunter and her sister Bernice Lee and the passing of her sister's husband, Ed Lee, Sister Pandina Langford and the passing of her father, Reverend William Washington, Sister Lillian Cunningham and the passing of her Aunt Claire from St. Louis, and Sister Cynthia Reed and the passing of her aunt, Sister Doris Sutton. Please, let's continue to lift those names mentioned in your prayers.
everything. Sister Taylor said, give God praise. He is the strength of our lives, and he will see us through. At this time, we're actually ready to move further into our service for what we came here for, and that's to hear the word. Our theme today is Sisters Anchored in Grace and Steadfast Faith. And our speaker is no stranger to New Ebenezer. She's a dedicated child of God, an extraordinary wife, a benevolent mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, a remarkable Christian woman, and an awesome leader of our women's fellowship. I'm pleased to present this morning's speaker, the First Lady of New Ebenezer Baptist Church. So the next voice that you hear will be that of Sister Deborah Mills. Please receive her in love. Thank you and be blessed. told me I only had to do one song. But I, I, I should have used, I should have used my own brain and no better.
a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. Hey, Trisha done sing, sung all we needed to hear today. If I don't say anything, it's because Trisha just, I'm so out of sorts right now. She done took me out my little square up here and say my ABCs and I tell you God knows all things we plan and we plan and we plot and we plan and God knows what he wants done where Trisha go Trisha thank you thank you thank you thank you so hey man somebody clap because she has truly, truly blessed our soul today in song. Oh, my goodness. This girl has blessed our soul today. I give honor to God, who's the head of my life, to our pastor, and to you, New Ebenezer. Good morning. I am so humbled at this opportunity just to stand before you because I don't, I don't take it lightly. We could have had anybody up here. And it wasn't that somebody else wasn't supposed to be up here, but she wasn't able to be up here. So God knows what he wanted on his program. And I had to come to grips with that because I kept saying, I don't do this. But God knows what he wants. Amen. Pastor, thank you. Thank you for even considering me. Because I tell you, Trisha, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. Deborah's just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. I'm, I'm going to try, I'm going to read my paper. Do y'all, I'm, I'm going to read my paper so I can shut up. But if you will turn with me, our theme for our script for our church is from Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 19. Would you all mind standing for the word of God? Amen. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 19. And it says, which hope we have? as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, which entereth into the veil. And you know, our theme for this year is called Anchored. And I know that he gave the women the theme, Sisters Anchored in Grace and Steadfast Faith. But I want to just talk today about Anchored. Oh, anchored. It's easy in the midst of all of our daily obligations and routines, not to mention all the things going on in the world around us, especially with this pandemic going on, to feel like we're going in a thousand different directions. It's easy to understand how any person could feel out of sorts. They can feel overwhelmed. 
as the winds and currents of this life keeps changing. There are times when we are going to go through. Amen. There are times that we have situations. There are times that we will have circumstances that make us wonder where God is. But can I tell you, we have got to have a steadfast faith that's anchored in the Lord. We have to have a steadfast faith that doesn't give up in the storm. A steadfast faith that trusts God in the storms. See, so as we look around this world and we see all this stuff that's going on, and I tell you, it's some stuff going on in this world, fighting every day, marching somewhere every day. Somebody got a rally going on here and there, arguments and injustices going on. We got wars going on that ain't got nothing to do with us, but it's still a war going on. With all that going on, we still got to be anchored. We've got to be anchored by the hope that we have in Jesus. What a comfort it is to know that even though the life's rage, life storms are raging around us, we have an anchor of hope which is founded in Christ. And I'm not sure about you today, but that's how I make it. I have a hope in Christ that's anchored. It's anchored. As Christians, we have an anchor of the soul and we have somewhere that despite the changing winds of the world around us, we have someone who keeps us grounded, who keeps us safe, and who keeps us even in the middle of these storms. As I told you, Hebrew says, he's sure and he's steadfast. Now, I don't know about you, but I, I want to be with something that's sure. I don't want to guess about it. I don't want to think about it. I want to be with something that's sure. And I, and you know, and I'm tired of people uh, uh, using hope in the wrong doggone way. See, you can use hope in the way that you say, well, I hope I get a job. I hope I get some money. I hope this. And I hope that. But see, you better learn how to use hope in the right way. You heard me. You better learn how to use hope in the right way. See, hope is secure. Hope is static. It's sure. It don't waver. It's not unstable. Hope is sure. It's certain. That's what hope is. So stop running around talking about, I hope I get this. And I hope that happens. Unless you're learning how to do it in the right way. Do like me. Oh, Christ. The solid rock I stand. All on the ground. Is sinking sand. Stand in your hope. Quit wavering in your hope. Quit acting like hope is something that you got to think about and hope and pray. Listen, hope is sure and hope is certain. You don't get nothing else, get that. Hope is sure and hope is certain. Oh, I'm going on, I'm going on. This hope keeps us steady. Jesus, this hope, it keeps us steady. As I told you, things are going around and around us in the world. 
And I know y'all feel just like I do. This pandemic done got on my nerves. They talk about it every second, every minute, every hour, every day. So it puts you in a place where you just so uncertain about things. You don't know whether to stand by somebody or run by from everybody. This world got some mess going on. But our hope, it keeps us steady. That's why we're here today. Because we steady holding on. <laughs> Woo. Oh Lord. Regardless of the challenges of this world, we can rest in Jesus and be anchored. Amen. We can rest in Jesus. See, we don't have to the mess going on, we can rest in Jesus and be anchored. I'm almost done, y'all. You ain't, ain't got to worry. I'm almost done. I'm reminded, and I'm, I'm past, I'm telling you, I'm hurrying up. I'm reminded of a scripture from Mark chapter 4, verse 37 through 41 that says, And there arose a storm of wind. And the waves beat up on the ship, so it was full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they woke him and said, Master, don't you care that we're perishing? He rebuked the wind and said, Peace be still. This passage of the Gospel of Mark reminds us to put our trust in the Lord. I'm telling you, we have to have a steadfast faith. Not worrying, not being fearful, but a steadfast faith knowing that God is with us. So whatever you're facing right now, whatever it is, Pastor, Whatever you're dealing with right now, fear not. <laughs> they said he's with us. And, and though at times it seems like he's asleep, though it seems like times that he's not concerned with going, what's going on with us, don't worry about it, he's with us. The word of God says that he's more than the world against us. So we don't have to fear. So even in your current situation, even in our uncertain days, let me remind you of who we could turn to in the storm. See, I remember when I was sick, one of many times, and this particular time I was so sick I needed somebody to get me from here to there. I couldn't function on my own. At that point of my life, I didn't even know who everybody was and I'd known them for years. They kept trying to remind me who they were and who they were and who they were and I had no clue but I tell you what even in that storm I knew who Jesus was even in that dark moment of my life I didn't know half the time what time what day it was. <gasps> but I knew who Jesus was. I remember so well my son Wallace called me. He was in the service at that time. And he called me and said, Ma, if you don't know nothing but Jesus, encourage yourself. In the <laughs> He said, Ma, if you don't know nobody, encourage yourself in a song. He said, Ma, 
If you don't know nobody, encourage yourself in prayer. So I just wanted to come and tell you today, you better know who Jesus is. You better know who to turn to. When the storm of life are raging, when things are going on all around you, you better know who Jesus is. If you call him, he'll keep you in your storm. I'm not talking about what somebody told me. I know for myself, I didn't know nothing but Jesus. And I tell you, he's a keeper. If you can't keep yourself, don't worry about it. Jesus is a keeper. So that's why I asked Trisha to sing that song today. My soul, my soul has been anchored in the Lord. See, because Jesus is our hope and anchor. And he'll keep us in the midst of a storm. He's the one who's able to keep us steadfast and unmovable despite the tides, despite the storms, despite the tides of our life. He'll keep us. Be anchored when the storms are, won't cease. That's what she said. Be anchored when the winds Keep on blowing in your life. Your soul, it's got to be anchored in the Lord. Got to be anchored in the son of the living God. Jesus, Mary's baby. Jesus, our bright and morning star. Jesus, our lily of the valley. Jesus, our way out of no way. Your soul has got to be anchored. He's the one. I'm telling you, he's the one who died for me. Oh, Calvary. When they stretched him high, held him high, he died for you and he died for me. But guess what? Three days. He got up with my power. Yes, sir. My power in his hand. I tell you, the anchor in my Savior, my Redeemer, the anchor in the Lord. My prayer today as you tread these different waters of our life. My prayer, with all the uncertainties that are the new norm, is that you get anchored. Know that he loves you. He cares for you. And don't worry about it. He cannot and it will not be shaken. We are safe and secure. Most of all, we're anchored. We're anchored. I ain't moving. I ain't swaying. I ain't going down. Because I'm anchored. Miss well well Cece, I tell you, I don't, I don't know a whole lot of things. I, I, I don't profess to have it all together. But I tell you, my soul is anchored. Is anchored in the Lord. God bless you. God bless you today. Be anchored in him, our keeper, our redeemer, our savior, our king. Be anchored. 
in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord today. Somebody's here today. And, and, and you coming to church for a while. And, and you're trying to get it right. But get, we're all trying to get it right. We're all trying to live right. But I tell you today. To way to get it right you is you got to get anchor. Get secure in him. Get secure in his word. Life. That's the you keeper I was worth of our soul. Ooh, God bless you today. So you clean me prayer. up inside. You thought I was died for. So you sacrificed your life so I can be free so I can be home you've heard so our message on today the invitation is now extended you thought I was worth man woman boy or girl you can come and accept so Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of your life you, you too can now be anchored in that steadfast faith so the door is open the invitation is extended. You thought I was to die for oh, yeah. So you sacrifice your life. Wherever you are. So I can in the sanctuary. So I can be home. Maybe you're watching so us virtually. Listening to us on our prayer line. This invitation is for you. This invitation is yours. Oh, yeah. This is your invitation. To the God Candidate for baptism, Christian life, experience, or by I letter. Come on. You. you can reinstate your you. relationship with the I Lord. This is your invitation. Oh, yes, I will, because I am free. Free. Because I am whole. And I will tell everyone, everyone I know. You thought I was worth saving. This is your invitation. So you came and changed One more my time. life. You're Lord, watching us, whether by Facebook or YouTube. So you Pick up that phone. Up Call us, 313-361-0087. Pastor Mills, I want to give my life to Christ. I want to be dedicated my life to the Lord. To this is your invitation. Come on and trust him. Oh, yes. You thought I was to die for. Bless you all today. Come on, put your hands together. Bless the Lord. Come on, bless the Lord for this word on today. Come on. Bless the Lord for our first lady blessing us on today. Elbow somebody, tell them I'm anchored. I'm anchored. I'm, I'm anchored. The storms of life might rage. Billows might roll. Circumstances might be bigger than I am. And I might encounter some stuff along the way that I think I cannot handle. Though the winds of adversity may blow, the trials and tribulations and chaos of the world might come my way. I can testify I'm anchored. Anybody anchored? I'm anchored in the Lord. Matter of fact, you ought to say this, Pastor, I'm anchored in the Lord. Not just anchored in anything, but my soul is anchored in the Lord. Come on, salute our first lady. Won't you do it all today? Come on and salute our first lady for blessing us. Come on and salute her. Salute our first lady for blessing us. We thank God for her anchored steadfast faith. That while we maneuver through this time, this pandemic period, and to this place that we are today, when there was just a few of us in this place holding it down, First Lady stood with Pastor to tell Ebenezer, we're going to be all right. Everything is going to make it. God bless you, First Lady. Appreciate you. Amen. Appreciate you blessing us in such an awesome way. 
are on today. God knows who to play, put in place and to bring us the message on today. I praise God for our speaker who we asked to share with us on today, but due to health challenges could not be here. But thank God for a pinch hitter. Amen, somebody. Praise and bless God for a pinch hitter. I'm a Tigers fan, so back in the day I would go to the Tigers games, and the Tigers could be losing by just one point. It could be the, I mean, one run. It could be the bottom of the ninth inning. We were at Tiger Stadium, and runners were on first and second, you know, or second and third, and all we would need was a base hit, you know, to tie the score and a base hit to win the game. And uh, I would be sitting in the bleachers going, I sure wish they get Gates Brown. I sure wish they get Gates Brown because Gates Brown was a clutch hitter. Y'all young people don't know nothing about this here. Old folk like me and Sandy, we know about this. And Teresa, you know, wherever she at, we know about this here. Brother Gordon, old folk. Somebody say old folk. We know some about this. We'd be like, come on, get Gates Brown, get Gates Brown. And all of a sudden, you see that old bow-legged fella step out of the dugout and folk would go to screaming and hollering because they knew if anybody could get us through a clutch, it was Gates Brown. Come on and bless God for the pitch hitter on the day. In the person of our first lady, we certainly praise and bless God for her on today. It's giving time. It's giving it's giving time. It's giving time. We prepare ourselves to give on today and to be a blessing in our giving. And while we're giving our assessments, our tithes, and our offering, we're going to also receive an offering today for our First Lady. Amen. Our speaker for the day, like we do all of our speakers and preachers, we're going to receive an offering for her as well on today. Won't you all to be a blessing uh, in your giving? On today, you can give through Giblify. If you're giving your tithes, your offerings, your assessments, when you give, please take a moment. Please take a moment in the notations and let us know what you are giving for. Do let us know. It's my assessments and what have you that I am actually giving, I'm giving for on today. So let's be a blessing. All of our women and all of our men. I asked for an assessment of $25 uh, on today. All of our women and all of our men I asked for an assessment uh, of $25 uh, on today and certainly want us to be a blessing uh, in our giving on today. All right? Amen, Pastor. Now, I'm standing here for the Women's Day assessment. All right. I asked y'all to do me a favor and give $25 today. Right. And I'm asking you to give, put it right here. Be a blessing to our church today. Amen. All somebody. right. Amen. All right, Pastor. All right, let's be a blessing. Deacon Turner, you're gonna probably need two baskets, one for tithes and offering, and one for the love offering. You're gonna probably need two of them, one for tithes and offering. Brother Orlando, it's gonna be what are he holding for? All right. Orlando is doing love offering. And somebody else get me a basket and going to do, um, do tithes and offering. We don't do much walking. Y'all already know that. And so we're going to make an exception for our women today to be able to walk uh, and to do your tithe. Here go the basket for tithes and offering. Deacon Turner is going to receive our tithes and offering. Brother Orlando is receiving the offering for uh, our, uh, our uh, speaker. And then Sister Mills is receiving the offering today for the Women's Day assessments. Come on, let's pray. Those of you all who are at home, as we stand, if you're at home, go ahead, get your iPads, phones, get that Givelify app ready. Get it ready, get it ready, get it ready, that you'll be ready to give as well. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the opportunity to give. Bless now the gifts and the giver. Let it be used for the purpose in which it is received. You get glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. The saints say amen and bless God. Come on, it's giving time. It's giving time. It's giving time. It's giving time. You'd like to do your assessments, just come this way. Social distance to come quickly and give those women who want to give your assessments, do come this way. Do come this way.
Brother Orlando, you doing tithes and offering? Orlando, just stay up this way. Stay up this way. Stay up this way, Brother Orlando. Just stay this way. Brother Orlando, come this way. Come this way, Orlando. Right, that way they can come to you as they give. They can come this way, right. Timmy doing ties. Deacon Turner is doing ties. We don't do much walking, y'all know we don't do much walking. Let's come quickly. Come quickly. Deacon Turner is doing tithes and offerings. Deacon Turner is doing tithes and offering. Bless you, bless you. Bless you, bless you. Bless your giving, bless your giving. Bless your giving. Bless your giving. Bless your giving. Thank you so much for expeditiously giving. We've already prayed. We've already prayed. We've already prayed. Amen. We've already prayed. Listen again. Thank you so much. Listen to these observations. If you receive your packet, if you receive your packet, then you know that this week we're celebrating our Evangelical Baptist District Association's uh, virtual and in-person session. We're going to be doing virtual in-person session this week as we celebrate our Evangelical Baptist District Association's uh, annual session and Congress of Christian uh, Education. Now listen to how this goes. If you did not receive a package, how many members did not receive a package this month? You didn't get a package this month. Get some packages out there, Matthew. There's some packages out there. If you did not receive a package this month, I need you all to receive uh, a package uh, this month because we're in session this week. Please note these things. Because we are in session this week, there is no Bible class on Wednesday. All right? There is no prayer call on Thursday because we are in session this week. They're going to give you a package. I encourage you all to come on and take the class with us. Each evening we begin class at 6 o'clock p.m. This is a virtual class. We begin class at 6 o'clock p.m. each uh, evening. Hold your hand up if you didn't get a package this week. You didn't come the first Saturday. You didn't get a package. The information is in the package. One of the things that's going to happen, we invite you all to join us on Zoom uh, for class Monday through Thursday at 6 o'clock p.m. Join us on Zoom at 6 o'clock p.m. for our virtual class setting. Join us for classes, 6 p.m., Monday through Thursday. Class on Monday and class on Wednesday will be from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., all right? Class on Tuesday and Thursday will be from 6 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. We're going to be in in-person session on Tuesday and Thursday at 7.15 p.m. On Tuesday night, it is our women's night for our session. Our own sister Lillian Cunningham uh, is the president of our women's auxiliary. And sister Cunningham will be bringing uh, the uh, address uh, for the women on Tuesday evening. And then at uh, Thursday evening at 7.15 p.m., Pastor Robert Mills is the president of our Congress of Christian Education. And he's going to be bringing the message for the Congress president. The President's address. The services are going to take place at the Puritan Avenue Baptist Church. Pastor Robert Mills is pastor. Puritan Avenue Baptist Church on Tuesday and on Thursday. Now listen what you can do. You can come to Puritan even if you want to come at 6 o'clock because you want to be in class. You can come to Puritan. Just bring your laptops. Bring your phones or bring your iPads. You can go on at Puritan and still be in class. That way you're already in place 
at 7.15, you're already in place when we go live. We're going to go live on Evangelicals page, the District page, the New Ebenezer page, and the Puritan Avenue Baptist Church Facebook page. We're going to go live on Tuesday, and we're going to go live on Thursday evening for both addresses. I want to encourage some Ebenezer members to share with us each evening, all right, Tuesday and Thursday in-person session. I want to encourage some of you all to share with us. All of our churches, I ask them to you know, allow a couple of people to come in uh, and to share with us. And so I need a designated 15 members of our church who will share with us on Tuesday and a designated 15 members of our church who will share with us on Thursday. Let me know before you leave. All right, let me know before you leave. Pastor, I want to be among the 15 that will represent uh, New Ebenezer on Tuesday. I want to be among the 15 that will represent New Ebenezer on Thursday. Sister Cunningham and Pastor Robert Mills are both members of New Ebenezer. Amen. Both are members of Ebenezer. And so we want to give our Ebenezer support. Want to give our Ebenezer support. Want to give our Ebenezer support. Y'all talking louder than me. Want to give our Ebenezer support. All right. And so I'm asking that you all will certainly be prepared uh, to come in uh, and to share with us. Secondly, let me take a moment and thank all of those uh, members of our team who shared with us on yesterday as we celebrated the life uh, of Brother Donald Green, the son of Sister April Gregory. Thank you all for being here. Those who came in and shared deacons and preachers, ushers, uh, and members of our health ministry for being here on yesterday and sharing with them. I'm asking that you all shall continuously uh, keep April lifted and covered in your prayers. Continue to pray for her. Sister Teresa Fails in the passing uh, of her sister. Memorial services are going to be held on the 30th of October uh, at the Newmont Herman Baptist Church. Patricia was a member of Newmont Herman. Pastor Alex Hill, the pastor. And those services are going to be on the 30th. I think it's at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. if my time serves me correct, on October 30th at 3 o'clock p.m. So keep uh, Sister Teresa Fails uh, and, uh, and family certainly lifted. Trisha's children certainly keep them lifted uh, as well and covered in your prayers. And then mark your calendars for the third Sunday in November when the men of New Ebenezer shall be in charge of worship on the third Sunday morning. Uh, in November, the men of our church shall be in charge uh, of the worship experience. And so we look forward uh, to that time of sharing uh, and coming together. Come on to give hand to Sister Sims, who was our presider for the day. Sister Patricia Taylor, who just showed straight out uh, on today. Come on and give it up for her uh, as well. Our scripture and our prayer, I can't remember, Sister uh, Angie Joseph, Sister Terry Edgecombe, for our scripture uh, and our prayer uh, on today. And our Sister Jasmine Bridgeport, our old faithful, we praise and thank God for her being here uh, as well with our prayer requests. Listen, God is good. God is good all the time. Anchored in a steadfast faith reveals to us the covering of the Savior over our lives. I talked about this the other day, and I didn't ask, I didn't ask no permission on the prayer call. I just talked about it uh, on the prayer call of, 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 how, of how Sister Sonia Jones and Jacob, you know, at home living their best life, resting for the evening, and some fellas decide that they want to get at another fella, and the fella just happened to be in front of her house, and how her house was shot up. Just shot up, riddled with bullets while they're in the house. But God. Y'all done seen these stories on the news before. Where stray bullets have taken the lives of people just sitting there home and ain't got nothing to do with anything. But three of y'all to get it on your way home. But God, God is a keeper. God is a coverer, God is a protector, the Lord is a sustainer, and the Lord will be working when we ain't even paying no attention. That's why he promised, I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. And so we praise and bless God for the covering over their lives. Come on and stand. Won't you come on and stand? Come on and stand. Hey, Eric, it's good to see you. 
Hey, Amen. Good to see you. Good to see you on today. How God is blessing, sustaining, and taking care of us. Sisters, y'all looking good in your pink and white. Yeah, y'all looking good in your pink and white. I'm telling you. Me and JD, we tried to match y'all. We tried. We tried to get our pink on. Matt, you got his pink and white on. Orlando got on a big pink shirt. I don't know where he went. Orlando said, you said to be ready. I see you, Lando. The sisters are proud as well. <laughs> Brother Gordon, they got that pink on over there? That pink shirt you got on? Oh, no. All right, you got a Halloween shirt. I'm just talking. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let the church all over the sanctuary. Let the church Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Bro, Tyrone. Oh, yeah. Let the church say amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. God has spoken, let the church say amen. Now may the love of God, sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, may rest rule abide with us henceforth now and forevermore. Every house says amen, amen, amen. God bless you, have a smile upon you. Those on the left side of the church.